Coming up, it's another installment of Dating Sucks, plus funny signs. Come on back, you're at a layover on Rob's Universe. You have entered an alternate dimension, a journey into an individual's imagination, a new entertainment experiment. For the next few moments, you will experience the wonder, the mystery, the really weird dorky humor. From this great city, on this dark planet, you have ventured into an outer realm which we call Rob's Universe. All right, welcome to my universe. Let's get right into another installment of Dating Sucks. Remember, this is done in the spirit of Let's try to have fun with this and not get frustrated. All right, we're going into my personal emails, or in this case, a messaging app. All right, here we go. We're having our conversation, and it seemed to be going pretty well. We're hitting it off, and we're talking about uh, sci-fi, and we talked about the Lucas Museum. It was cool. She liked uh, sci-fi, so blah, blah, blah. We're talking some more about uh, sci-fi. Okay, here's where it gets uh, interesting. So what do you like to do to stay active, I say? Do you like to go running? And she says, I'm trying to run more, but I dislike the treadmills. I like lifting, yoga, Zumba, cardio, kickboxing, etc. Yeah, treadmills are boring, although a little better with the game on. A nice chatting with you. Perhaps we can meet for a drink sometime. Yes, I would like that. Great. Perhaps this weekend or a day next week. Sure. Cool. Well, how is your schedule on Sunday? Or would early next week be better? Next week would be much better. Cool. Well, what area is good for you? Downtown? North side? It doesn't matter to me. So, you see, it seemed to be going very well. Uh, she was very warm to the idea of meeting me, and she didn't care where we met. So I suggested a place in Wicker Park. How about that, I say? And a couple of days passed and there was no response. Or perhaps somewhere else in the Wicker Park area. And then there was still uh, no response for another uh, day or two. Okay, I'm getting you may not like the Wicker Park area. Which area do you prefer? And then a few more days passed, uh, still no response. Hmm, you said you would like to meet, but now there is no response. I've got it. The only explanation is that someone stole your phone. Give Maria back her phone, you robber. And a few more days passed here. Or perhaps you prefer a coffee shop to a bar. I just picked that place because they have outdoor seating, and I thought that would be nice with the nice weather. Finally, right? And a couple more days passed here. Still no response. Okay, I'm getting you would like something more exciting for the first date, so how does skydiving sound? Or we could go running with the bulls. But seriously though, I'd love to know why you changed your mind, but I realize social protocol states that you remain silent. And of course, she never explained why she went silent after agreeing to meet, because dating sucks! Alright, moving on to a segment I call, I found this funny. Tonight's edition of I Found This Funny, Funny Signs. These are actual signs that I encountered in my travels that I thought were funny or kind of odd. All right, let's take a look. Okay, here's the first one. This sign is telling me to expect delays. Now, isn't this odd? I mean, if I expect the delay, then it's not a delay. I was planning to do such and such at this particular time, but unexpectedly there was a delay, and now I must rearrange my schedule to accommodate the delay. But if I expect the delay, then it is just taking longer. But it is not a delay, because it was planned that way. You see, I think the real delay will be in trying to sort out the conundrum this sign causes. Here's another one. 
This sign is telling me to watch out for slow-moving pedestrians. Okay, I'll watch out for these slow-moving pedestrians, but why are the pedestrians going so slowly? I imagine they are distracted and are busy doing status updating or whatever the hipsters are doing nowadays. But if in fact these distracted walkers are going so slowly, then maybe they should be wearing a sign like this. That way we would know better to look out for these slow-moving pedestrians. Here's an artist's depiction of how this would work. So you see, here's what the distracted pedestrian might look like and we could print the caution sign on an accessory already being utilized by the slow walking pedestrian, in this case a messenger bag. Or, as another suggestion, we could adjust the original sign to something like this to more accurately reflect the kind of slow moving pedestrian we should be looking for. Wouldn't the sign be a lot clearer that way? Well, thank you for joining me. Join me again in the future for more of Rob's Universe. Universe.